Hey students, this is Ambika, Master Teacher of Biology at Vedantu. Now here again, we have come up with another very special session for all you ICSE children. How would you make use of the gap to study for biology exam? Okay, the gaps in between your exams which are according to the official timetable uh, of ICSC board exam 2020. Okay, so that is what we need to understand. Many of you uh, may be confused about how to utilize this time because especially for biology it's very important to have an idea about this because it's supposed to be your very last exam okay so let's make sure we use the time wisely but uh, before that let me tell you children we have 2000 plus micro courses available topic wise micro courses available all available now at a very 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 special rate of one rupee so please do make use of it because we have courses done by a lot of the best teachers of india um, and you can pick the teachers of your choice the topics of your choice whatever topic you are weak at utilize these to improve on them okay so what do you have to do for that just click on the micro course link that's given in the description box below and go ahead and pick the favorite course all right so there we go what do we have to know first to get started with such a topic the first one that we definitely need to know is the actual icse class 10 board exam timetable right 2019-20 so let's have a look at that i um, took this from your official uh, websites the icse website and i've divided it into two parts um, this is the first half of your timetable which is from feb 27th um, till march 14th okay so these are the papers that will be happening on these dates you can look at the time also definitely you would have an idea about this better than me and the second half will be this is from the 16th of uh, march until the 30th of march okay so as you can see here very well your biology which is science paper 3 is going to be your very very last exam which is the 30th of march wow that is like a very long time away if i think of it now but just give it a thought is it worth ignoring biology for all these 30 days for this entire one month until we actually reach that date because definitely i don't think it's a good idea you may even lose touch with the subject you may lose touch with the topics so um, we don't want all that confusion to arise right but definitely let's be grateful for the fact that you certainly have two days now those of you who haven't taken economics as a part of your group two um, elective subjects definitely have that day also um, so completely depends on what subjects you have picked wherever there is elective some of you may have an exam some of you may not have an exam so according to that but two days minimum all of you are getting for uh, your final preparation for biology okay so let's just keep that in mind and now what do we have to know let's just quickly recall the bio syllabus we have about uh, 15 odd chapters in the entire syllabus right so in my opinion what we can do is we can probably divide these 15 chapters into two parts into two sets okay not even 15 well in my opinion this is just my personal opinion um, chapters that you are likely to keep brushing up that you are likely to forget and hence have a need a more need to keep brushing up would be human physiology okay human physiology is one set of chapters and yes this one uh, basic biology and plant physiology okay plant physiology and human physiology definitely you can't afford to lose touch on them uh, comparatively the last three subjects which are also independent units you can even ignore them for the next few next few in the sense the few days during which other exams are happening so for now let's just leave out these three chapters and let's keep these five plus uh, 5 plus 4 plus 3 how many is that 7 plus 5 is 12 okay 12 chapters let's uh, keep in mind that we must revise it we must brush it up sometime in between because 30 days from the day your um, board exam is starting which is English as I can see it in your timetable English is going to be your first paper Feb 27th from Feb 27th till March 30th is going to be a very very long time um, to afford to miss right so those 12 chapters what we can do is we can divide it into two parts okay so these 12 chapters 12 major chapters that i say those of you who want all the 15 divide the 15 into two parts divide this into two sets of six each it needn't be in the chronological order it can be according to any order that you want okay it can either be um, these seven 
plus the next five physiology in one set or it can be six plus six whatever you wish to divide it as totally up to you but divide it into two sets and what do you do yes now comes the tricky part um, according to the electives you have picked according to whatever gaps you have how many ever breaks you have in between your other exams sometime in between say around march 9th or 10th pick up the first set of biology chapters quickly brush through them once okay the first step as i said um, the six chapters or five chapters or seven chapters however you have divided the set as pick up the first set and revise it sometime in between this time around march 9th or 10th okay and your second set probably sometime around march 20th okay sometime around this time march 20th 21st 22nd whenever you find a gap pick up the next set of chapters especially physiology because you can quite likely forget the concepts in that if you don't keep brushing up okay so that is what you have to do and then what do you do then definitely you have the last two days right 28th and 29th and 27th also for some of you who do not have economics so those three days what to do on those days i will be telling you in some time but this is basically the idea okay we are dividing your 30 days of board exam duration into three parts okay because basically because bio is going to be your last uh, exam one revision one part of the revision around march 9th 10th second part of the revision around march 19 20 21 and the last of course just before your exam so let's go ahead as we have seen the syllabus that's it now the study techniques that you can use in the last two days what are those yes solve the official specimen paper and the 2019 paper okay uh, do not sit down and solve um, all the past year's papers on the eve of the exam the last two days as i said according to the timetable the um, very last two days that you have in hand march 28th and 29th this is what you should be doing okay these two definitely you must find the time for secondly divide the entire syllabus into two sets and brush up the concepts how do you brush up the concepts glance through the notes okay through whatever notes either your own notes either the notes that you have got from your school whatever you have glance through them or you can um, even glance through the highlights you have made in the textbook um, or the sticky notes that you have made in the textbook you can also use question banks you can either uh, make a combination of all of these three techniques or use one of these as required whatever will help you boost confidence before the exam okay so this is a chapter wise revision that i'm talking about in the last two days okay yes now another tip that you must remember do not make any new notes last two days is not the time to sit and make new notes it's not the time to sit and learn a new concept okay yes do not study anything new do not make new notes and do not keep anything for glancing through on the day of the exam because i have committed this mistake quite a few times and not in 10th but i think in 12th and in college um like i would make beautiful notes and i would be like just before i get into the exam hall i will go through this and then i will be able to recall this but no never i have never succeeded in that um unless like in very rare situations I would certainly not advise that i would certainly not recommend that nothing should be kept for the day of the exam yes and after every chapter's revision take a very short break come back with a fresh new mind and then sit down for the next uh, chapter's break the night before your exam what do you do you must sleep very very well and not sit up like this owl okay because this is what is going to um, help your brain convert all the information into memory process it into a uh, good quality memory and that is when it can help you the brain can tell you the answers while you are writing the exam yes that's about it children and here is a complete biology playlist um, of icse for every chapter we have been doing icse um, sessions starting from uh, i think the month of october is when we launched it so do go ahead and have a look at the playlist um, we also have diagram series wherein I have done five videos to give you um, enough practice for diagram based questions. Okay, so do go ahead and have a look at those also. And yes, here we go all the subjects ICSC fast track series, which is still ongoing. We'll have it till the end of this month. Okay, so do go ahead and look at those also if you haven't been watching them until now physics, chemistry, bio, and math. 
and students corner of course you will find it uh, very very useful especially in exam season when you feel down when you feel stressed out when you feel you need just some motivation please go ahead i am always there all the teachers are there but in students corner specifically um, it's my set of videos which you will be able to find so do go ahead all your most of your questions have been answered already we are still coming up with new things so thank you very much children if you have enjoyed this video do remember to hit the like button share it with all your icsc friends because all of them will certainly benefit from this and do remember to subscribe to the channel vedantu 9 and 10 if you haven't done it yet because until your board exams are done we will still keep coming up with a lot of creative things so that you and we together make it a success and in the meantime you can also send me an email at ambika.gopalakrishnan@vedantu.com Until we meet again this is Ambika signing off bye bye